Daisy Horse mod is officially here and is probably one of the best mods we're going to see in 2024. So after many months of development the horse mod has come to the Steam Workshop in its first update and release. And with the mod at the moment it comes with quite a few different features. One of the features to start off with is the stables. So you get these stables along with some accessories for the horse as well. With the stables you build them pretty easily with a stable kit and you craft that the same way you would a fence kit and you can build it with logs, planks and nails. And when you have it built you will have this structure here and you do have a few different pieces with it so it does come with 200 slots of storage. You can fit up to three different horses in here as well and it will keep them nice and safe whenever you do log off or say just don't need a horse anymore. Now, how the horses actually work is if you add this mod to your server, the horses will just roam the land like you can see out here. You can see all these different horses and they will just spawn in different areas around the map, whichever way you have them set up, and they will just roam. And to claim a horse, you have to have a few different things. So on this horse here, you can see I have horseshoes, a saddle, and a bridle or bridle, however way you pronounce it. And when you have them, you can actually have your own horse and then get onto it and it basically kind of claims it. It acts like a territory. There's a few different features on these horses. So you have your standard kind of walk. You have a run that the horse will do as well. It can jump, can go backwards if needed, and it can jump in place as well, which would make for some really cool pictures. Now in total there is eight different horses that you can choose from and I do have them all spawned in and they are all kind of all over the place so we'll try and find them all real quick. The first one is this brown horse, standard brown horse. We have a Palomino horse here. We have a white horse over here which is very bright. I'm trying to find all these horses, they're absolutely everywhere. There's two different grey horses, there's one of them over here and the other one's to my left. We have one of the grey horses here. And we have another grey horse over here as well. With the horse as well, while you're in full trot or jumping, you do have a stamina bar. So your horse has a separate stamina bar to you, uh, which I kind of like actually. It just kind of makes it so you can't be running the entire map in one go. For example, your horse does have to, you know, slow down and catch its breath as well, which is quite unique. We have a brown and white horse here. You do also have black horses as well. So there's this one. Is this one just all black? No, this is the black horse with the white spot on its head. And there is just a full black horse around somewhere as well. But the issue with these is they do roam the map. So once you kind of spawn them in, they just kind of go wherever they want, really. <laughs> Which is kind of cool, but also a pain to find when you're trying to look for them. Now, another few features with these horses is they can take damage. So just for showcasing sake, I'm going to disembark my horse here real quick. Give it a slap, it will react. You can also shoot the horse. I did do it. Yes, I did try it. Uh, I as far as I know, you can cut it up and eat it as well. But, uh, you know, that's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's certainly something interesting. I don't think you'll make too many friends by shooting and cutting up people's horses. Zeds also do react. I'm going to see if I can get it to react. It will actually also hit the horse. So that is something to keep an eye out for as well. If you're running through a town or something, it is more than likely that a Zed will attack your horse. I don't know if I'm actually running full speed. Can I, like, run over a Zed? No. Okay, good to know. You can't run over Zeds with them. First person is kind of cool to ride the horses in, but I do think third person definitely is the best option. It just looks really cool. And you get to see the full horse as well, which is quite nice. Hunter did also tell me that the dog mod that he has also works with the horse mod. So, like, if you have a dog and a horse... And you're on your horse, your dog will follow you while you're on the horse, which is a pretty cool feature, I think. I don't know if this would work really well on a PvP server, for example. Since the horses can take damage and you can kill them and stuff like that, I think people would just go around shooting each other's horses and it would certainly make for a pretty toxic environment, I think, if like, you claimed an animal and people were just going around shooting them. So, don't know if it would work really well on a PvP server. Uh, we're going to go out this way and head towards a lake down the road as these horses apparently can swim so we're going to go and check that out real quick while we can i do see this mod being best on pve server definitely an rp server i can see this really working well on something like that again pvp hard to say but probably wouldn't work but i mean if you wanted to add it of course you can 
Now it is only in its first stages so what Hunter does when the mod is ready and works he'll release it and then he'll just continuously update the mod until it's fully complete and he's happy with it. So this is just the first stage so it's basic with, with all the stuff that it has on it. As updates come out and progress it'll get better and better and more additions will be made. As well for the horse all the animations, sounds, movements, everything custom made all made up from the ground. And it's very time consuming and very difficult to do. It's some of the mods that you see out there are just reskins of maybe vanilla assets or something like this. Obviously none of this is vanilla and it's completely built from the ground up. Even the skeleton of the horse, everything done from the ground up. So it is pretty impressive what Hunter has been able to do. Quite time consuming, that's why it took a while to come out. But I am happy that it is now officially here. Oh yeah, look at this lake. Right, so apparently these horses can swim. But it is, it is a bit buggy apparently, so sometimes it'll work, sometimes it won't. Let's hope this will work. Oh. No, maybe it's not going to work this time. Oh. There we go. It's working. It's a bit buggy. Oh yeah, there we go. That's cool. So you are moving. It's obviously going to be slower and everything, but you can traverse rivers, lakes, and stuff like that with your horse. So that is the Daisy horse mod. I'm a big fan of it. I always have been. I've always been a big fan of the idea of having actual working horses in Daisy. And they're finally here on the Steam Workshop, which is great to see. So let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments section down below. And if you have any feedback for Hunter as well, be sure to leave them in the comments section down below as you will read all the comments as well. So it's a good place to put them. I will leave his Discord and the link to the mod all in the description as well. So if you want to check out the mod for yourself or join his Discord to chat about it, you can do so there. But yeah, I'm excited to see where this mod goes over the next year or so. I think it's going to be pretty sick what he's able to do. But until then, I'll catch you guys in the next one. So peace out for now.